Once the insight analysis is complete, you can view the results and explore the opportunities to improve the energy performance of your design in the insight interface. The insight interface displays numerical results as well as an interactive model view that helps you visualize the heating loads, cooling loads, and the PV potential of the surfaces in your model. And you can customize the insight interface to display the results in the units and the reporting format that you prefer. Let's get started by opening the insight interface. Once the insight analysis is complete, go to the Analyze tab and click Optimize to access the results in the insight interface. You can also access the energy analysis results by logging into the website insight360.autodesk.com and logging in using your A360 account. To open your energy analysis results, you'll need to navigate to your project, which will always be located in the All Uncategorized Insight. Click back to Insight to exit this specific project. On the right panel, select Settings and change the following. Default Units, set to Imperial. Roll up, choose Energy Use Intensity, EUI. Sort the model widgets by importance, choose Yes here. And finally, Currency and Utility Rates, select US Dollars from the drop-down menu. When you return to your project, note that the values, ranges, and units will all update to reflect your preferences. Now let's explore the Insight interface. Select the tile for your project to reopen it. You'll see your energy model as well as a range of factors that impact your building's energy cost and performance. The large model viewer shows the energy model submitted to Insight as well as a gauge and location tile. The gauge displays the energy cost or performance. It toggles between annual cost and energy use intensity when you click on it. The location tile shows your project location and contains weather station information. The benchmark comparison displays the mean annual cost or mean EUI, depending on your settings, as well as the range of potential values given your assumptions in the model. It also shows how your design's current performance stacks up against industry benchmarks such as ASHRAE 90.1 and Architecture 2030 targets for this kind of project. The model history tracks all the changes made to your model and their impact. The factors allow you to quickly explore the impact of different design decisions for key drivers of performance. Factors are ordered alphabetically or from greatest to least impact, depending upon your selection in the Insight Preferences. Now let's visualize the heating and cooling loads and the PV potential in Insight. Go to the Visualize drop-down menu and select PV Analysis to display a visualization of the solar potential of the surfaces in your model. The legend shows the mapping between the colors displayed and the levels of solar energy available on each surface, or heating or cooling loads to display a visualization of the heating and cooling loads for each of the zones in your model. In the Heating Load view, the legend shows the mapping between the colors displayed and the heating loads for each zone in the model. When you click on a zone in the Model view, the details of the heating loads for that zone are shown. Similarly, when you click on a zone in the Cooling Load view, the details of the cooling loads for that zone are shown. We'll look at more detail about the PV potential and the factors that affect it in the lesson on Solar Measurements and Strategies.